What is going on, you guys? It is Baxter, and we are back. Thousand Year Blood War Arc, episode nine. Now, before I get into, get into that, um, there's a, I don't know, I guess a little issue. So this this isn't bleach related. So I'll, again, I'll post down below where the episode if, starts if you don't feel like listening to me ramble on. So earlier today in my Discord, there was another fucking idiot who decided to post something about a One Piece spoiler. Now, I didn't read the comment, but when I went to the Discord, I read. So, basically, it was a spoiler comment. So, there was the spoiler comment, but there was enough comments after that that I didn't, that it was off the screen. You know what I mean? So, I go to my Discord and I look at it, and all the comments I see are like, what the fuck, man? Like, come on, man. Like, at least put spoiler. Da 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 da. And a bunch of my, a bunch of the, my buddies, the, I'm just going to start calling them buddies, not even fans. A bunch of my buddies on the on the Discord um, basically messaging me saying, like, yo, th this guy's an idiot. Don't go up and read the comment. Uh, he, it was, the one thing I did read, it was like, I can't wait for, I can't wait. Um, oh, what did he say? Um. Oh, he's like, the animation for, or no, what did he say? I can't wait for the animation for something. I don't know. I forget. But he said something um, that was a spoiler. So, um, unless things really start getting out of hand, um, I've been looking into getting some mods, maybe one or two for my Discord. Um, I haven't yet, just because I've just been, a, like, a little bit skeptical. Um, you know, people just want control of their own things. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, it's my Discord. I would like to have control of it. But um, it would definitely help to have other people help me. You know, so that these fucking idiots aren't going out of their way to try and spoil people for no reason. It's so stupid. And that's why I have a One Piece manga channel on my Discord to talk about that shit. I purposely put it there so spoilers wouldn't be posted in the in the anime and in, in the everything anime channel. So with that being said, guys, um before slash if I make a mod for my Discord, if this shit happens, um, DM me on Discord or Instagram. It doesn't matter. So that I don't accidentally scroll through it and read it. Because it's bullshit, man. It's such bullshit. And, like, I find it repulsive. That people have the need for anything, not just one piece, for anything to go out of the way and say, hey, I can't, I can't wait for this part. Or, hey, man, oh, like, man, just wait for this new form to come out. And it's like, why? Wh why? Like, I mean, and if you like people's reactions so much, if you're following... For me, as an example, if you're following my reactions and you like my reactions to shit that I haven't seen before, why are you telling me shit in the future that I know is already going to happen instead of getting the 100% reaction out of me? It doesn't make any sense at all. It's like, yeah, you like to see me go off, but you know what? I'm going to spoil you to... Like, I don't even know why. It's, it's just so fucking stupid. So, I, it's safe to assume that this is going to keep on happening. The more subscribers I get, the bigger my channel gets, the more this bullshit is going to happen. So, um, 
if this happens again, I would really appreciate you guys DMing me on Discord or Insta. I don't care. Um, just to let me know so I can fucking delete these comments and ban these fucking idiots because uh, I'm absolutely sick of it. I'm sick of it. Um, on another note, I woke up this morning and I just hit 20,000 subs. 20,000 subscribers I woke up to. Finally, finally I broke the 20K threshold. So I want to say thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you to my subs, to the people that are watching this. Um, thank you. Thank you for supporting me. And... I don't know. I'm glad you guys like with the way I <laughs> with the way I get down with things. Cause I mean, I mean, if 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 you guys know, I don't I don't put on a facade. I don't fake shit. You know, like so. I really appreciate uh, my subscribers. For here, here's the thing. People, people can give props to their subscribers slash followers but there's a difference so if i'm on instagram and i have two million followers no that's not let's just say i'm on instagram i have five thousand followers right and people are like and i'm like oh like thank you insta followers for like following me and liking my shit you know that's one thing but if if someone likes your youtube i kind of give Whoever it is, it's not not just me, but like whoever it is, I give them even more props. If there's an Instagram that has 100K followers compared to, let's just say my YouTube only has 20,000 subscribers, I give more props to the people with the YouTube. Because that means that people like your channel for you. They like your personality. They like the way you act, your manner, your mannerisms, just the way you portray yourself. Whereas on Insta, it's just, you know, look how popular I am. Look at the flights I'm on. Look at my big ass titties. You know what I mean? And it's, I, I give a lot more props for the people on YouTube because you know that their subscribers like them for them and not just a nice ass and a thong. You know what I mean? So I genuinely thank my subscribers for liking me, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, also one more thing, because I hit the 20K, um, I'm going to be doing a live stream just to say thank you as well as just your regular y uh, live stream Q&A, you know. Um, so I'm going to get that going on Saturday. I'm going to come out with a totally separate video of the, of the live stream. I'm going to come out with, with the time. So, um, yeah, just letting you guys know. So bleach episode nine, the soul King is awake. Now Ichigo is. Um, fuck, I was about to say Soul Society. He's in... I forget, I don't, fuck, I don't even know the name of the place. He's outside of the Soul King's Palace, basically. He's in that realm. He's no longer in Soul Society. Uh, Squad Zero took him. They're going to, going to uh, uh, what's it called? Not fix his sword. There was a word for it, not manifest. Fuck, I forget. But they're gonna. F it didn't say fix in the. But they're gonna fix his sword. So Ichigo's there. Um, Yuha Ba and the Stern Ritter are. They retreated and went. Well, not. I shouldn't say retreated. They left and went back to. Yeah. Um, oh. I'm fucking pumped for this episode because, okay, um, I've been, I've been scrolling through YouTube. I was scrolling through YouTube on my breaks and shit at work. I kept saying, uh, kept seeing 
thumbnails of Unahona. Unahana. Unahona. Right? And for the manga readers, I'm not a manga reader, but I know what happens. For the manga readers, we know what time it is. We know what time it is. The medic shit can be thrown out the window from here on out. It's going to be complete carnage. Complete carnage. And mute this if you're not a manga reader starting right now. And I'll give you a thumbs up when you can turn your volume back up. Okay, starting now. So, Unahona, the original Kenpachi, is fucking back. You could see the the um, the look on her face about uh, what's his name that taught Unahona her medic powers, and he said something like, "Oh, don't worry about using your medic shit. That's not what you should be thinking about right now." Basically, saying you should be thinking about slaughtering people. You know, so the original Kenpachi is coming back. So, um, Soul King's awake. I don't know what he can do. I don't even know what he does. I don't even know if he fights. I mean, he could just be one of those, like, higher, nearly omnipotent beings that just kind of controls everything but doesn't get into combat. I don't know. But, man, I'm excited. This is crazy. And I like the way they make him look. Like, oh, man. This is sick. Fuck off. For like two seconds. Just fuck off. Okay, let's go. Bleach! Thousand Year Blood War Arc Episode 9! Three, two, one. Let's go, man. I've been, man, I've been thinking about this all day. Luna Hona? Oh, no. I don't know what's going on. It's What the fuck? The episode's like lagging for me. What the fuck? Like, not today, man. Not today. Okay. Hopefully we're good. Okay. So, I have an idea of what that note is. What that note is. Are you fucking kidding? What the fuck is going on? Um, G. 
Just not today, man. Not today. Is it because there's a shit ton of people on this episode or on this site? This is ridiculous. This is so fucked up. Please, come on, please, just... <laughs> That's a test punch! Ooh! <laughs> okay! He's still not healed, though. Okay. You're probably all right. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding! This is fucking ridiculous, man. <laughs> okay, this is this is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand. Okay, sorry guys, I'm pausing it. I'm pausing the video. I gotta stop the video. I'm gonna... I'll, I'll be right back, guys, because this is fucked up. Yep. <laughs> I knew that was what the letter was. Let's go. It's finally here. Ah! Here we go. Thank you. Captain Kitchi. Yes. Yes. Shut the fuck up! After only a day! He only did that for a day? Back when he was fighting Nutoria? And he said he was using Kendo, he was practicing for a day? 
That's crazy. Unohona and Kapachi. Zaraki. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Your training begins. The first Kenpachi. Look at that face. Mm, that's a manga shot. It has to be. I know it is. <laughs> Landing area. <laughs> it's like they all went. Damn, man. That looks really good. Damn! <laughs> Look how much fucking bone. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that looks good. Dessert. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Some weird stuff. You don't have a choice. Oh, Ichigo, you don't understand, bro. Yes, man. <laughs> For real. Oh, look at that bowl. That had like four full lobsters in it.
<laughs> Look at that shrimp tempura! Woo -hoo -hoo! God damn! Millions. It's been around. This place, this has been, this universe has been around for a million years. That's crazy. Damn. <laughs> really? Wow! So she made them! That's crazy! Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> he created the Zampacto. Holy fuck. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. These guys are crazy, man. Squad Zero. Yes, Eisen. I never get sick of Eisen. We need your help, motherfucker. Oh. I thought they were in the bottom of the... Oh, okay. Never mind then. I got height. Trading! Oh man, get ready to die! Oh, Kampachi, you're about to get fucked up. <laughs> like, real bad. Look at that! Look at the picture! That is so iconic, that right there! K does Kampachi...
A single scar. Ooh. So he did get... Here we go! This is it! Original Kempachi! The strongest in history. Wow, I didn't know she was a criminal. Eight thousand styles. One of you will have to die. Fuck, eh? Well, we know who's gonna die. Wow, and he doesn't even have his eye patch on! Took it right off! Whoa! <laughs> goodbye! That's a goodbye letter! Let's go! <laughs> We're fucking here! Right in the net! <laughs> yeah! Mmm! Oh! Uh, damn! Whoa! Right back! Right back! I commend you for removing your eye patch from the start. But even if you remove it, that's the extent of your power. Let's go, man. Those are Rashi, motherfuckers. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. You've softened up. Yeah, bro. Yes. This is why he's the way he is. Because of Unahona. Wow. Wow. Fuck off. No, you're not. It's the other way around. For all you anime watchers, only anime watchers, Yep. Let's start all over. Let's start all over, baby. <laughs> What's the matter?
Yeah, because you were. <laughs> it's the medical. It's the medical shit that Buddy taught Una Hona. The medic techniques. You will not die. Verge of death, I'll, you grow stronger. She's, just keep killing them over and over and over again. It's not over. Really? Like my ringtone? Hello? Pardon? Hello? Hi. Uh, no. Pocket dialed me by accident. <laughs> what the fuck? I need to do a review, Mom. Fuck. Hello? Hi. Yeah. Okay, bye. I'm making sure the car phone still the car phone works. Wow. So we're here. The training. Luna Hona and Kenpachi, the training's begun. The battle. Okay. Okay, so it's safe to say next episode is just Kenpachi versus Unahona. Now, oh, how do I explain this without spoiling anything? I can't. I can't talk about this without spoiling anything. If you guys are anime-only watchers, then thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you guys soon. Peace. If you're, if you're a manga watcher, okay, so, I already knew, I, okay, I have to say this again and again and again, because I keep getting fucking comments, being like, oh, like, you said you'd never read the manga, and but you know what's happening, and it's like, no, I haven't read the fucking manga, but I'm very familiar with the story. Just not exactly, exactly, and I'm familiar with the story, but I'm not familiar with the bits and pieces that we need to get to the end of the story, you know? So, okay, this is going to be crazy because Kampachi, uh learns his Zampakto's Named Nozarashi. After this fight. Unahona kills him. Over and over and over and over and over again. And. This is what I mean. I'm familiar with this. But I didn't know. That every time he came to near death. He got stronger. I thought she was just killing him. Over and over and over again. Because Kempachi Couldn't smarten up. And think about the um. The wrongs and the things he was do the things he was doing wrong in battle to get killed. I thought it was just like an improvement thing. Like I killed you this way, you died. I'm gonna bring you back to life again. Now I'm gonna try the exact same thing to see if you can block it or not. Type of thing. That's what I thought it was. I didn't know that. I didn't. I don't know if it. It is soul reapers in general, right? That if you if you die. And come back, or if you are near death, you, you're stronger after. I think that's all, all Soul Reapers. Maybe not, it might just be Kenpachi, but I think it's all of them. Um, But yeah, see, I, I didn't know that, though. About, like, I didn't... That, like... 
and um, Kempachi. Zara- I shouldn't even say Kempachi. Zaraki is the one that gave her the scar. And she just said, I, like, before I wasn't able to use these cheap tricks against you. You are weak. You are getting weaker. You are soft. You are badass, but you are not badass enough. Now, obviously, they can't go through this type of training without one person dying. That's Una Hona. Um, for the manga readers, we like not. I shouldn't say we because I haven't read it, but like we we know that already. Um, I me. I need to see Kenpachi after this. When it's all said and done. Oh, holy shit. There's a reason why I have Nozarashi. There's a reason. And he's the best fucking captain. Not counting Aizen. And yes, I'm going to just say Aizen is a captain. He counts as a captain. He's my first favorite captain. Followed very closely by Kenpachi. So, man. I thought we were going to see a little, like, some more of the Soul King. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I guess not. And then, uh, what's his name? The black guy. Part of Squad Zero. He created, created Zampactos. So, um, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, does that mean he was one of the, was that mean... He was the one that was that's been able or came up with the idea to take an essence and combine it into the sword. Like Zangetsu. Was Zangetsu his own spirit on its own like spiritual plane somewhere? And there's a sword here. And Buddy is like, hmm, you know what? I can take this and put it into this. And then boom. Or like, that's crazy. Because I'm assuming swords already existed. Right? But when I when I read that, swords already existed. So if he created the Zampakdo, it's be. I'm thinking it's because he somehow was able to harness energies or essences or beings or whatever the fuck you want to call it and actually put it into a sword. That's what I think is what he did. Yeah, holy shit. All right, well, <laughs> that was a solid episode. Some key um, manga shots of Una Hona. And we got to see her with the hair down, not in a nice little, nice little tie. Nice wrap. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. And I will see you soon. Peace.